Hey everyone, it's Lisa from Primitive Gatherings and today we are going to do something super fun. I am excited because as you know, I am a hand stitcher. I do all this fancy embellishing by hand, but I know not all of us have the time or maybe our hands don't work as good as they used to. So we have come up with an alternative method by machine. Bernina Barb here is with me today. <laughs> her name is Barb Burma. What we call, we lovingly call her Bernina, Bernina Barb. Barb. Yes. So she's our educator here at Primitive Gatherings and we have tasked her to figure out how to do blanket stitch with pearl cotton on our beautiful Bernina machines. All right? Yes. So how did that go? Uh, Luke asked me to try this a couple of months ago and it takes a little bit of trial and error, but I think I've found a technique that will be easy to use. A couple of extra things you might need. Uh, we start out with uh, needles that are 116 normally. You don't use those for things other than heavy stuff. Like jeans. Jeans and stuff, yeah. <laughs> right. Um, I use the pearl cotton and the little balls I put in a cup next to my machine. It doesn't work well to put it on the spindles, so we just let it bounce around in a cup. Thread your machine as normal. I don't have to do a lot with the tension. Okay, I know to me that would be the biggest thing. I know some people how, many, are, how far do I gotta move those dials because we don't like to move those dials. Yeah, right. right. And right now I don't have anything changed from what comes okay. up standard. So factory setting right now. Factory setting right now. Okay. And what do you have in the bobbin if this is in the top? I have 50 weight orofill. Okay, and we all know what 50 weight orofill looks like. So if what, what kind of machines can do this stitch? A variety of the Bernina machines. You want the nine millimeter, uh, which starts so with- means the foot? The, the base, the feed dogs. Right. Okay. How big the hole is there. All right, nine so millimeters. So that you can have a nine millimeter wide stitch. Okay. And I think you have the listing of those machines. Yes, Ms. I Lisa. do, I do. So I asked Luke for, I'm like, what is gonna be able to do this? He said the Bernina 480, 570, and 590, 770, and 790, and the 880. And the CAFE version too does it as well. That's Both a new them. machine yep. that's just recently been yep. introduced and everybody's all crazy about it. It's beautiful and fun at the same time. Yep. Both of those machines. And then you had told me that we were going to need a little needle threader to help thread that thick pearl cotton too. Yeah. yeah. I have a little wire device that uh, I use. There are other needle threaders if you're- yeah. Any generic any needle generic. threader should be able to pull that through. Yep. But Especially on a hundred needle. Yep. All yep. right, I'll hand that back to you. All right. Okay, so- So I think that's the special stuff. That's what we need. And like we said earlier, the reason why we wanna do this is because maybe you need to get a bunch of things done, hurry, done in a hurry for uh, Christmas or projects or something, you know, a deadline for a show and you don't have time to hand stitch with, with these machines and all of the, their capabilities, it's going to be amazing. And not only, um, we're going to just demonstrate blanket stitch today, mm -hmm. but you have practiced a little bit with some other crazy stitches as well, right? And I was yep. super impressed with that. Yeah, so. So here, we obviously we wouldn't, if we were doing this for our project, we wouldn't put this light, light, light thread on here, but see the beautiful blanket stitching? And this was her first attempt at <laughs> yeah, that. that. This was, was your actual first attempt. So yep. it's not gonna be perfect, but look at what she did here on the stems. And then she's trying out some of the crazy stitches there as well. So that's pretty impressive for uh, just your first trying, try. yes. Just trying yes, stuff, yes. Yeah. yeah. So we can move this out of the way here. Out of the way. All right, so. Do you wanna talk about? Yeah, yeah, let's talk about that. All right, so I, I was teaching at the, the gathering, a fall project, and I gave this pattern to Barbara, and I'm like, here you go. This is going to be the, your practice one, and 
you know, skinny lettering and you're going to adjust your length and your width here. And I'm sure we're going to go over that later mm -hmm. on, but this is fabulous. Look at that. I mean, I can tell that it's done by machine, but nobody else is going to know this is done by machine. Yeah. Yeah. But, and who cares, right? It's still done by hand. You still have to move it around and do a lot of work. Yep. Right? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. And what else have you for us to show? So she's been practicing. She's been excited about this. Yeah. Yeah. It's fun. So, yeah. So this one here, a little bit more normal color on the thread. You know, she didn't match it, but she used one variegated one that looked good on everything. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yep. All right. So... If you're allergic to wool, this also, I'm sure, would can do some of the non non-wovens, like the the felts and, and yep. that kind of stuff. This would also yep. work on that too. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. As oh. long as you have that 100 needle, you yes, should that's be the good. Magic. The should 100 be needle. So good yep, to we go. went through all the supplies, and uh, we'll have Kaylee put a list up of all the supplies so they can quick jot it down. Yep. So let's get ready to show you on the machine. All right, Barb, I can't wait to see how you thread this in that. No problem. <laughs> we start by putting it in the little cup. So it bounces around in there. So that's like a thread guide, an off machine thread guide, yep. right? Yep, yep, and it just gets threaded like. And you don't want to put it on your spool, no. right? No, it does not work. All right. No, Luke already tried that. Oh, so you're threading it just how you just normally thread it. Just like I normally thread, but I'm not gonna use my threader. Ever for threading pearl cotton. Right? Nah, it doesn't work well. It probably well. does some nasty things to the thread. Yeah, and it does nasty things to the threader. So I have my little wire threader and I'm going to pull it through there. And through here. Oh, so that was easy. Oh, yeah. Got to not lose this. So are we ready to start? Sure. So do we, are you going to are you going to do a big blanket stitch, a medium size, or a small one? Pretty big. Pretty big. Pretty okay. big. Yep. All right. So just, just for reference, so a starting guide for a person who's starting, like, tell us where your length and your width is on your machine. All right. My width is 6.0 and my length is 5.0. Okay. So the machine can go to the 9 millimeter width, and that's a pretty big. Yeah, that's a huge that's one. pretty yeah. big, yeah. You would use that more like a utility than okay. a finer finished product. So, yeah. All right. And we are going to stitch in a light thread today to make so it shows up really nice on camera, right? Right. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't normally be doing this. <laughs> <laughs> so, nice steady speed. This is pretty easy. It's a nice easy curve. But these machines have a variety of ways of helping you get around tight corners. There's knee lift. You can always use settings within the machine to have the presser foot lift when you stop with the needle down. So there's a variety of ways of helping yourself with your machine. It's so... Perfect. <laughs> now I've gotten to the point where I need to scooch it around a little bit. There you go. Now, I'm pretty close to a corner and I want to make sure that I have... So you got to kind of manipulate yeah, a little bit. Yeah, kind of manipulate a little bit. Just but, like we do on our hand stitching. Mm-hmm. Okay. But now... So would you run one now on the top edge there? No. I could, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to space out my stitch length a little bit so that or it'll like come over. One stitch? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. So you're going from five. What was it? Was it five? It was five. Okay. And now six. I'm at six. Okay, yeah. So it's going to jump over that stitch probably, right? Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So then we'll go back to what it was at five. And sometimes you get lucky and you get right to the corner. You learn a you lot, can, I bet. Yeah, you, know, you like, can learn. Yeah, like maybe you should have jumped a little bit bigger on that yep, one, right? Yep, yep. And like on the leaves, what I've done is I've done one and kind of played around with where the stitches are and then I figure out where I'm going to hit the point. Because mm -hmm. like in your hand stitching, you always tell people to start like in the middle. Right. 
Not ever on a point. Not ever on a point. And most of the time in the machine world, you want to do that same thing. Right. But sometimes you need to kind of play around so that your stitch gets right to that point. that point and you can manipulate and I I would assume that you would the more you do it the better you get at figuring that those little things up. those nuances yeah right. yeah right. but what I've done here is I've actually measured and I have a little oh, measurement so show them a trick on how to yeah, measure yeah oh, okay. I can if we awesome. get through this point yeah actually what I find fascinating is when, when, you're, when I'm watching it stitch, it doesn't look like it's pulling tight, but then as it moves forward, it seems to pull that last one tight and it looks gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's, you know, as I see it, it looks like it's loose. Yeah. But then, yeah, that's weird. So it does go over itself twice. So yes. it goes forward and then back and then forward and then, right? Yeah, yeah, you have one along the side and then two into the fabric. Right, and that's why so. it's nice to use the 12 way and not, not anything the eight. thicker. I have used eight and yeah, it gets kind of bulky okay. and then it doesn't look as nice. And I assume that you can do big stitches or it, sometimes maybe because you're doing it by machine, you don't want to use a lot of thread and you don't want it to show a lot. So maybe you would make a little tiny stitch. You can. Yep. Yep. I made these all kind of big so that they're, we can you see can see them. them. Yeah. Yeah. The but if I was today of the thread colors and the whatever is just so we can see better. Yep. All right. I'm going to see how you manipulate this one. All right. Now like at 45. Maybe? Yeah. Yeah. We're going to try that. Ooh, look at that. Perfect. Oh, that one turned out. That was the money one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But also, like, normally I would not be doing this big of a stitch on those leaves because they're a smaller item. Right. I would tone it down a little bit. Mm -hmm. And we do that when we hand stitch, too. That, exactly. You know, if we have a smaller piece, smaller we use thread. smaller stitches. Smaller stitches, yeah. smaller thread, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you can see it's... Look at how fast you got that clamshell done. Yep. Is there any special uh, technique you do at the start and the stop to... Um, I see you left a tail. Are you going to like bury that tail or what do you do with that? Yeah, I'm going to take it to the back and, and not on the back because oh, okay. my, my thread cutter really doesn't like that, that heavy thread. It's too it thick will, for your It will cutter. cut it, but it's not pretty and it, it makes made kind of pearl a, cotton, right? <laughs> and it kind of makes a little ball on the top side so it's not pretty. Okay. So yeah, I just So you leave a tail and you leave a tail. Thread them and bury them through. Yeah. That makes total yeah. sense. Yeah. So you want to see a thread you want to see a leaf? Should yeah. we do leaf? Show us a leaf and show us how you plan. All right. Well, I have my little measuring device. A piece well, of thring, string. It's a piece of string. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. A big piece of string. Yeah, because I was using a piece of thread and it wasn't quite, yeah. <laughs> quite easy enough to grab. So what I've done is I have measured, like, you start in the middle and you go up to the point, and I did on this one. So then I just cut my little piece of. So you're like measuring how I'm to measuring, hit that point perfectly. Yeah. Because yeah. you know exactly where to start on your leaf now based on your. Stitch, my stitch width, width. Yep. lengths. Yep. Okay, I get it. So we'll see if I got this right. But once again, it's just a matter of trial and error to begin with, and right. then you can repeat. See, this isn't going to be quite what I want it to be. Well, your stitch is a little bit bigger on this leaf than the last one, too. Yeah. Or wider. Yeah, I think so. I think you're going to hit it pretty good. But it kind of makes for a bulky point, but yeah, that wasn't quite exactly where it needed to be. Because we're on camera, Barb. Of course. Nothing always works perfect when you're on camera. Yeah, yeah. But they get the idea, I think, on how to figure that out. Yeah, yeah. And you can see it's just like guiding your regular, if you're doing this on regular thread, regular fabrics. Mm -hmm. I have wool on flannel right now, so it's not wool on wool, but I've done wool on wool, and it's basically the same. Now, I did do uh, wool on homespun, mm. and on the homespun, I actually put uh, 
interfacing, interfacing on the back. Yeah. Yeah. A little stabilization yeah, because yeah, homespun is a little, little bit, yeah, a little yeah. bit uh, squishy fabric, yep. I would call it. <laughs> yep. Yep. Great fabric, but. Oh, I love working with it. Yeah. Very forgiving. Very fun. Yeah. So what else do we need to do here today? All right. So I think what else we're going to talk about. So at Primitive Gatherings, if they want to come in uh, and buy a machine, they are going to get like an introduction on how to use it. But one of the things Luke told me is that they get three hours alone with you to uh, perfect anything they really like if say they're interested in this or if they're interested in uh, some of the other techniques that this machine can do they mm -hmm. get three hours with you as well right 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 anything else about that and then we also have a Bernina club right we with have social. a Bernina, Bernina social meets once a month we have a room at the gathering and people come we had a newcomer last week and he he went home just ecstatic because he learned a whole bunch of different things that he did not know. And he's been sewing for a while. Right, right. But so he, he, he just, just got, got a his new, machine. Yeah, yep. he just got a new Just got a new machine. So, you know, it's newcomers are really learning a lot from the people who have been in the club for a while. Right. Yeah. And I think you have lunch too. You have a lunch got every lunch, time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. A, and you got a big party coming up too, I yeah, know, right? Yeah, we do. That's yep. sweet. So other than, uh, so they have social club that they can come and drop in once a month and, right. and hang out. So you, mm -hmm. you're there for that all I'm the time there. as well, yep. right? And then um, then they can they get the three-hour lesson with you and the quick thing on how to, you know, straight stitch and how to run their machine with Luke and right. when, so they first get home. But that, mm -hmm. that's kind of fun. And But you're all, in when they come to the sit and sew, they, they can ask you any other questions that they have. We've, yeah, we've worked on embroidery projects. We've worked on uh, some serger projects. Mm -hmm. Some people have sergers that they bring. Okay. I just got the uh, L890, right? Oh. oh it's oh, wonderful. You got a new machine. Oh, okay. yeah, Good yeah. For you. It was real excited. So is there any, when for blanket stitching, mm -hmm. is there any maintenance that we have to do because we're, we're running this thick thread in this beautiful new machine? Yeah, it gets a little fuzzy. Okay. So after I'm done with, you know, what I'm doing here, I will brush it off well. I will take the bobbin out, you know, clean, clean everything that out. Really nice. Yeah, yeah. So you want to keep that fuzz to a minimum. So pretty much every time you sew at any amount of time, you should clean it out nicely. Yeah. And yeah. what about like how long is that needle going to last in there? Is that, is it, is, will it dull? Will, is it okay? Is it? Yeah. Well, if you, if you look really closely, it's got a little, little bit of. Oh, let's talk about fusible web. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. So when you prepared these, right, you, you we use heat and bond feather light. Mm -hmm. In that, because for a couple of reasons, it's very pliable, mm -hmm. and if we needed to quilt this, because this is part of a quilt, or like you got that little mini quilt there, if you wanted mm -hmm. to quilt that, you'll be able to quilt through the heat and bond feather light. Right. Right. Yeah. So, so that's the one we recommend here at Primitive Gatherings. I'm sure the other ones will work too, but you probably what you're saying is probably get a little build up. Yeah, on you your get needle. a little build up on your needle, but yeah, yeah. A little alcohol will take that off on a little rubbing alcohol yep. on a pad. Will no take problem. That off. No problem. Oh. But yeah, I would say, you know, th this would not require a needle change after okay. this much sewing. No, I but would I mean, say maybe every I'm quilt doing, or every... If I'm doing like six of these. Six blocks? Yeah, okay. I would I would think about it then. Okay. Yeah, because after a while, you can't get that residue off. All right, but yeah. I'm still amazed. Like she said, no tension adjustment no. for this thread. No. That's amazing. No. All right. No pressure adjustment. All right, anything else, Barb, that we need to talk about? Oh, you want to show, should we show some of these other things? Those are standard. Oh, so oh, here's a this. big, big, <laughs> nice stitch. So I, I know my, this is Jake's. This is okay? Jake, yeah. Jake is working on this right here, and he was so excited. We had to boot him out of here so we could do this. But he was stitching the blanket stitch on his project here. Yep, yep. Awesome. Yeah. And just remember not to clip those threads until you thread them through. That can be different for me to, to get used to. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, that's uh, like a really nice big stitch. Do you have some little ones? I thought I saw, oh, thought I saw some little stitching on something. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, so here is a pin cushion, and Kaylee will get a nice close-up shot of this too. But she's done all of this by machine. Yep. Awesome. 
Yeah. Well, that saves so much time if time is your most precious yeah. asset right now, too. Yeah, yeah. if you have like five girlfriends and you want five of these for Christmas. You can crank them out pretty fast. Yeah. All right. Yep. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for figuring this all out. I am super impressed, and I hope that everybody's excited as I am. It's and been now fun. I can't be be hearing, oh no, I can't do that. My hands don't work good, or I don't have enough time to do that. Now we can say, hey, but you hey. can do it on your machine with the pearl cotton as well. Yep. Awesome. Yes. All right. Thanks everybody for joining us for another tutorial from Primitive Gathering. Stay tuned for more.